Hey guys, press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Pink Villa. Hi guys, this is Sohali Khan and today I will be taking you through what I eat in a day. Um, I think I have a good metabolic rate. I have a pretty high metabolic rate and I do tend to eat a lot of dessert. Uh, but then mm, I can tell when I'm pushing it. It's been like a couple of weeks, I need to go to the gym, then I have to stop. I have tried everything from having garam pani in the morning to having uh, coconut oil, like you have a spoon of coconut oil uh, in the morning. Then at the moment, what I'm doing is having methi pani, which is very good if you have a little baby at home. Okay, so people who really know me will tell you that I'm a very boring person when it comes to food and I actually have the same thing for breakfast, lunch and dinner every day, almost. So my breakfast is, uh, I start off with methi pani and I have uh, cut fruit. So there's papaya, there's melon and there's an apple. Uh, and I have a slice of really nice gluten-free toast um, uh, with some cheese or some jam. And I have 10 badam. You should have one badam for every 10 pounds you weigh. And I weigh about 110 pounds, so I have 10 or 11 badams. That's very specific. Lunch is actually um, some kind of sabzi, some kind of dal, brown rice and uh, because I'm non-vegetarian, chicken or fish um, and dinner is pretty much the same but I do try to have like a little bit of salad or some leafy stuff at night um, and again tandoori chicken is probably on the menu. I am at the moment both. <laughs> I am awake late into the night and I'm up very early in the morning only because I have a little baby again. So there's no such thing as sleeping through the night. But before, in the days when I was in control of my life, I used to sleep late and wake up late. My favorite meal of the day would have to be dinner. I like, I feel like, you know, eating is a bit sinful when it comes to me because I really enjoy eating. I don't like eating when I'm dressed up. I like to be in my pajamas. I like to be, you know, it's, it's terrible, but I like to be in front of the television also. And um, I like to let go and I eat. I have a good appetite. I have a really healthy appetite. And I feel like these things should happen in like under the cover of darkness. So not early in the morning. So dinner is my favorite meal. Like a good Mughlai meal. Anything like in a tandoor um, and yellow dal is one of my favorite like comfort foods and any kind of tandoori cuisine like I said. Or then I also like Chinese food and I also like Italian food and I also like Thai food. Oh God. Um, for me again, I, I'm not one of those people who wakes up with like the sun and I'm not a morning person at all. And, I do yoga regularly and I know you're supposed to do you, you like yoga. The whole idea of Surya Namaskar is to do Namaskar to the Surya. And I end up doing it, you know, when the Surya has gone, like, and it's, it's already like late in the evening, which um, for me again, I think evening time, I really start to wake up after four o'clock in the afternoon. Otherwise, I'm pretty much a zombie. I would owe my weight loss. Uh, and I, it's true, I have uh, lost, I still have two kilos to go. But um, I would say that it's because of all the yoga that I did before uh, I delivered Naya and I was doing yoga right up until the day I went to the hospital. Maybe a little bit to do with uh, genetics and you know, maybe it's like my body type or I owe it to you know, my mum who was quite petite and fit and uh, even after having my brother and a little bit to breastfeeding. It burns 500 calories in a day, but it's not for everyone. It's very bad to cheat on your partner. When it comes to food, you mean, it's uh, it's good to have a cheat day, but that's only if you're someone who can limit your cheats. I'm the kind of person who's like all or nothing. When I let go, I let go and you know, it's difficult to just, you know, just let go on Sundays. If you can, then it's good to have one cheat day, I think in a week. I do it's not a no, no. It's just, I don't like spicy food and I try not to have uh, uh, things that are like very fried. I just don't enjoy them. I am a very difficult person to take on a date in a restaurant because I will have a 10 minute conversation with the waiter. I can't just say, you know, I'll have number 10 on the menu and everyone knows this about me. So they're like first letter order and then we'll tell you what we want. Um, so I'll always customize it and people are generally quite kind uh, to me. And I think now people know me as well and I have my favorites in all my favorite restaurants. I just have to go there and say, I want my staple. I want my regular and they know me. I currently am uh, 
doing squats with Inaya and I try and do like 50 squats in a day and it also helps her to sleep actually that movement helps her to sleep uh, it's true that's the only exercise I'm getting is carrying her trying to put her to sleep trying to get her to calm down bathing her um, all of that is a really good workout because now she's you know close to six kilos <laughs> um, I otherwise love yoga I think it's the best workout it's something that you can do wherever you are you don't need a gym you don't need membership you just use your own body weight uh, and it's wonderful and you can do it well into you know the later years of your life and um, it's fantastic both for external you know beauty as well as internal health and well-being uh, they say vodka water has the least calories so if you're not concerned with taste then I, I think that's the healthiest some people say tequila I of course don't drink at all um, makhana I don't know if you're familiar with makhana but it's like lotus seeds uh, and you can bake them uh, they're really nice so I like makhana and I like uh, I just like cut cucumber and and carrots with hummus uh, I have lots of like healthy healthy and I like I like vegan chocolate cake people say it doesn't taste nice but I think it tastes really nice I haven't tried any of these diets like some people try this I did try one diet and it was crazy um, I think it was a Beyonce diet and I can't believe that it's all that you know she was having for anything more than an hour but it was something called like the seawater um, maple syrup diet and you're supposed to have just some kind of salty water and one spoon of maple syrup in the day and that's it and a friend of mine was doing it and she did it successfully and I did it very unsuccessfully because I lasted about an hour it was awful I'll tell you when I turn 30 um, I think when you're married to someone who's five years younger than you <laughs> that motivates you to try and look young and fit every day um, I feel that you get results when you get results you get motivated and if you have a mirror if you work in this industry if you see yourself you know on pink villa <laughs> and it's an unflattering picture that motivates you to work out <laughs> I have um, I have I've been quite a, I'm a creature of habit and routine I have to say so I haven't really made any huge lifestyle changes but again I think having met Kunal who's a morning person my later nights have gone you know I go to sleep a little bit earlier and I wake up a little bit earlier and um, um, I eat better because I used to eat I had a very rigid diet and now when you live with someone and you share and you eat off each other's plates uh, I've, I've certainly expanded my diet as well I would definitely I actually enjoy exercise I enjoy I, I like the endorphins I like it makes you happy it makes you less depressed I enjoy playing badminton I don't I may not enjoy going to the gym so much but I really like uh, cardio exercise like sports so I, I love playing badminton so I would definitely eat everything and uh, I don't know if I want to work my ass off because that would not look attractive but I would uh, definitely want to exercise and I would not forego good food so that was it, that's what I eat in a day and if you've taken anything away from my diet, if you like it, then you know what to do. Like, comment, share and subscribe to Pink Villa.